All right, welcome to a new episode. It wants me to work on repairing the ship. Okay, welcome to the next episode. We have to collect ferrite dust. I click F to use my analysis visor and it says none installed. So I use the tab key, go to the multi-tool, click and install, left click to install. I'll need carbon nano. So carbon nanotubes require 50 carbon. So Let's get 50 carbon. Carbon comes from the plants. Analysis visor is it'll show you a second element. Okay, how much carbon do we have? 86. So we need to make the nanotubes. I left click on an open space to see what I can make. And I left click the nanotubes. And I go to multi-tool, left click, and left click to install. And now I have an analysis visor. I went in the ship to refill my hazard protection, life support, uh, hazard protection. We need to repair the launch thr thruster and the pulse engine. To do the pulse engine, you need a metal plate. To make a metal plate, you need 50 ferrite dust. All right, now, if I use F, I can left click to scan. I'll scan that as well while we're here. Now notice this thing has ferrite dust and sodium. So now every time I get that, I'll get sodium with that. Okay, F and left click to scan. That gives me ferrite dust and dihydrogen. F, left click to scan. And that's ferrite dust and dihydrogen. But not always. You'll need carbon to refill your laser, for example. So tab, multi-tool, and you click on left click and you see 80 carbon to refill it, leaving me with only 31. Okay, I sit in the ship. Click metal plate, click on the pulse engine, and repair the metal plate. Auto diagnostics, functional, starship critically damaged, vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components, pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Request assistance. Okay, salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. I peer inside the beacon's housing as well as its distress broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart. I take the planetary chart. Okay, then you hit tab and E on the chart to plot your route. Okay, you see that tells you where to go. It's a thousand units away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refill in the plane 
And while I'm heading for the coordinates, I'm going to be looking for oxygen and sodium on the way. In fact, let's top off our oxygen right now. 78 sodium is actually probably adequate. The main elements are dihydrogen, um, carbon, ferrite, oxygen, sodium. Okay, we're going to run there. You know what? Before we run there, let's go in the cave, actually. Watch what I do in the cave here. First, we scan. Cobalt. Scan the hanging one as well. Cobalt and dihydrogen. Now I'm going to do a major upgrade here, and I'm going to mine a bunch of this cobalt. So I'll probably edit out most of my mining of this, and I'll show you what I'll do with the cobalt when I come back. Oh, I should show you the geode. You hit E on that and you see it adds cobalt. Usually it adds what you've mined. All right, see you in a little bit. Space bar to use your jet pack. Left click to analyze. We'll go in the ship. I'll show you what I am doing with the stuff from the cave. E to enter the ship. All right. So if I look at my exosuit, you see I got the cobalt. You see the ferrite I have. With cobalt and ferrite, you can make ion batteries. I'll make about five of them. If you click your uh, hazard protection, you can see you can charge it with sodium, sodium nitrate, or ion battery. Now, the sodium, you'll have to use a bunch of sodium to refill. One ion battery will fill up to 100% of your hazard protection. So if you're almost out, those ion batteries will come in handy. All right, and while I was talking to you, the storm is clearing. Now if we run and get caught by a storm, we have the ion batteries to help us as well. So the ion batteries will, is your first major upgrade. You'll always, almost always find the cobalt in those caves. You just have to watch out for there's some toxic things in the caves. All right, shift key will let us run. And I'm, I'm gonna shoot these two. They will damage you if you get close to them. So the storm happened while I was mining in the cave. I'm doing all these because I know I'm going to need more oxygen. More, and the oxygen is harder to find than other stuff, at, at least on this world. OK, um, I mined a bit. And now I'm going inside as I'm really low. This shelter will refill your hazard protection. Um, my carbon is now up to over a thousand and my ferrite is a couple of hundred. I got a little gold in the cave. Should have left that on the ship. Most of the dihydrogen is the second element on the rocks. In fact, um, with the extra ferrite, the ion batteries are 10 cobalt and five ferrite. I'm going to make five more. 
the ion batteries do come in handy. All right, here use the hollow archive with the E. When it accesses, it says logs corrupted. No one making this recording in case leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use because visor damaged because it can't find ship. All right, I recover supplies. The log finishes and the machine wears to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. All right, I got the hermetic seal. I also have the techn crafting technology for that. So I know how to craft it with condensed carbon. But you see, I've got one in my inventory from that now. If you look right up here, you click E and you get a navigation data. Those are useful for several items. To call your ship and you could trade them in a space station for maps. Okay, this yellow thing also, E, it will give you either nanites or the navigation data. These potted plants, if you click E on them several times, you'll get a bunch of carbon. And you know, we can always use more carbon here at the beginning. All right, if you use F, you can use E to tag your ship. Okay, we're going to head back to the ship and analyze objects as the game wants on the way. use F and left click to analyze but as a red dot you don't know it yet yeah I'm skipping stuff right now we'll have plenty of time to pick up certain things later Left click puts the hermetic seal in your inventory in there. Now your pulse engine's repaired. Now you'll have to do the pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. Okay, right click to get out of that. So dihydrogen jelly, since I've gathered some dihydrogen and it was the second element, we could make the jelly. So you, you click on your starship and go into your launch thrusters and left click to add the dihydrogen jelly. You'll have to use a refiner to make pure ferrite. You put ferrite in there and a little bit of carbon. So when you go out of your ship, use Z, left click the refiner um, sorry you need metal plating and oxygen to make that so we'll make a metal plate Z then left click place it E to go inside now how much pure ferrite do we need for the ship we need 50 so I will need 50 ferrite go to 50 pure ferrite. They go one to one. And put the full carbon in there and click begin. When you pick it up, you'll get your carbon back. You use the mouse key to pick it up. And we, let me show you my inventory, exosuit, 
I now have 50 pure ferrite. That's the Fe plus. Left click the launch thruster and left click to put the pure ferrite in there. All right, now it wants me to take off, but I'm going to spend a few minutes collecting stuff here. For example, let me show you. If you go in the damaged container and take the rusted metal, I'll show you your first formula. Z, left click, place the refiner. E, let's put the rusted metal in there. It goes one to two. So you put your fuel in and 91 rusted metal will give you 182 pure, uh, ferrite dust. Okay, now E to search these things. We'll need an atlas pass for the tube. E to search this. And E for the damaged machinery. Now if you keep on refining the viscous fluids into different stuff, eventually it will turn into nanites. Okay, I'm going to spend some time mining carbon and other stuff. And in the next video, we will launch into outer space. So um, you're not going to miss anything. I'll, well, I will show you one thing. Wait, before I go. One more thing. If you hit escape, go to discoveries, right click. You can left click the arrow if you don't want to label this at all. Just left click to upload you won't be able to label it now but the thing is if you go to your planet you're on go to fauna you can see that I have ground flying and underground to find but when I do if I find all of them I can get a bonus 1750 nanites so I'll also be trying to scan the fauna All right, I will see you in the next episode, and I'll be gathering just ferrite and carbon and stuff while I'm here.